welcome, welcome. Come on in, guys. How you doing? Welcome to our Camp Nano planning session. Come on in, come on in. Um, one thing I have not done is put a reminder out to our Hardy's group there for the sharing site. Let me just quickly toss that on up there. Uh, let's see. Hopefully we will have a good active group today. anyone who needs that little reminder it is up and up to them okay so how's everyone doing today um are you excited for this are you excited for tomorrow uh we get to kick off um camp nana with an awesome double down day as well so i think we are going to be able to create an amazing buffer and ensure our success Hey Jenna, who else is reporting for duty a little early? Oh, welcome. Rita, Carla, <laughs> hello. And Mary, how are you guys doing? Uh, let's see, Rita, I am revising and hope to get at least 30 chapters finished or 50,000 words. Oh, you've got this. Dawn, I personally watched some shorts, so I wouldn't be early. <laughs> Afternoon all from Diane. Hey guys. Ah, okay. So this is not our regular planning session. This is going to be completely focused on Camp Nano and ensuring that we have a good solid plan in place for th when things get tough, for when, the, um, when life interrupts. Um, I don't know if you guys saw the community post. I did have a suggestion there of some things you might want to have. Uh, for this, including a printout of an April calendar. I just got this, Googled this and printed out, guys. Um, as well as Friendly Ruler. Um, I said markers, pen, pen, pencil, and marker, which this guy does, which you can't even see because he does all three. <laughs> um, it's a um, uni, 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 um jet stream uh four and four plus one so it's got a pencil it's got a black a red a blue a green ink on it so it's perfect for something like this i don't have to switch but definitely i have markers at the ready for any to anything i want to pretty up uh let's see what else did i suggest there your planner guys i switched over to my other cover um the turquoise and peach it feels so good for spring um and i guiltily will admit that i just ordered another one because they dropped the price on it and i couldn't resist because uh, it's one of my favorites and i've been looking at it for i think a couple of years now <laughs> so it's like oh that's coming home to me i'll show that to you guys on probably next weekend before i'll have my hands on it okay let's see do we have a good group yes we have a good group let's see hey diane how's it going uh, Diane and Diane. <laughs> uh, Angela, hello. Uh, let's see. Diane Dobson is editing a video but taking a break for this live and switching gears. Nice. Hey, Jill, how's it going? I'm editing, but I really need to plan. Yes. Rachel, hello, everyone. Ready to get down to planning. Uh, Angela, time treat stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> well, when something is that pretty and you know you love it and you're never going to use it, well, then you buy it. Right. <laughs> You buy it when it's, it's a reasonable price and it's not going to make you cry. Okay, guys. So we have ourselves a... I ended up going to my index cards to shape this one. So I don't have any on-screen stuff right now. So that will come. But we're going to go through and we're going to work our way through everything that we need to think about um, to make sure that we maximize our results for April for Camp Nano. Uh, let's see, uh, Angela, I'm not sure according to my iPad, but I think we need some more thumbs. Ah, <laughs> yes, guys, if you are new, hit the uh, like button and subscribe so you can join us for our writing sprints and our weekly planning group, as well as other new content that is coming. I've been playing in shorts and having fun. Um, I don't know if you guys saw the latest one. I decided to film the transition from the, uh, my Mark. March um, 
decorative matter at the front of my planner to the April, which completely different color set I just wanted to bright and pretty and just wanted to change with the seasons. Angela, totally understand. I drilled over a purple hand tooled leather journal I just had to have going to be my study journal for neural. Oh, normalcy. Ooh, very cool. Oh, and you had my heart at purple, hun. <laughs> okay, guys, let's get started. Okay, so um, you can do this one of two things. You can do this digitally, or you can do this uh, just like I said with the printout, an April calendar, or you could just write your notes down in a in a notebook as to the days and stuff you're going to take off and then transfer it into your regular planner whatever works for you to move through this i'm going to use the printout just as a rough planner or a rough page so i can make a good mess of this and then i can transfer that information into my planner in a nicer prettier way uh, so the first thing we're going to do is pull out that april calendar whichever one you want to use I'm also going to open my planner to April. Where are you here? Almost May. Oops. There we go. Okay. And so that will be transferred into that eventually. Uh, let's see. Adan got a new HP the other day for Q3. Ooh, I love that cover. Oh, la, la, la. I, I'm kind of jealous of you guys in the US you get you often get stock that I never see <laughs> okay guys uh, we're gonna start off with our April calendar and the first thing we're going to do is write in work schedule let's face it you're unlikely to be writing during work some bosses are pretty lenient but most are not <laughs> um, any appointments or commitments that you have um, coming at you for April um, any deadlines for other projects and maybe it's deadline it's unlikely you're gonna have a deadline for your camp nano project but if you do you get that down there too um, any events or birthdays that are going to be pulling you at your attention even if it's as simple as a phone call or going out to get a card to mail that um, your self-care and mental health days even though we're doing a challenge guys and we're gonna be pushing ourselves that little extra still keep in mind your self-care and mental health and be honest and give yourself extra time because things are always going to take longer than you think okay guys let's get our two minute timer up and we are going to start populating our april calendar with all the things that are going to generally keep us from writing or make it more difficult we're just going to start off with the hard stuff right okay guys two minute timer and let's just go through and Put that onto the calendar so we know what we're working with the things that we can't get out of and the things that we have to actually do hey stephanie welcome okay guys two minute timer let's uh let's populate our planner with the those important dates and go
Okay, so that would have been the hardest part um, because that's going to be your limitations. Um, the other side of it's going to be motivation, but for now it's just those limitations of time and the reality of what is left. Uh, let's see. Some important dates for you guys to add to your calendar. April 1st is our double down day, so tomorrow. Um, this is an amazing opportunity because that means we can create a buffer. Instead of just working toward our daily word count, we're going to actually try to create, get as much training done as we can uh, when the community is so active to just create that, that little extra um, breathing space, okay? Um, the next one is more of a complication. April 9th is Easter. Family stuff's going to be happening. How are you going to fit your writing in? We're going to get to that, guys. Um, and then finally, April 21st to 23rd is our virtual writing retreat. Again, an amazing opportunity to really get uh, lots of writing in and build, keep building that buffer so that we can have some lean days um, that will be coming at the end. They always do. Um, but we can actually make sure that we have taken an opportunity for those two weekends to really, really ensure that we're getting our words in. So get those on your calendars, guys. Uh, let's see. Uh, Rachel, um, April is a, is a light month. The only major thing for me is a dentist appointment. But I give myself seven mental self-care days, which means I have 23 days of writing. Oh, beautiful. Nicely structured. Okay. The other concept we're going to work with, guys, is full day available to write or do whatever we want. Nothing's going to be pulling at us. Um, exterior um, uh, commitments or work schedule or anything else, half days. Where we're still going to be able to focus on our writing, but other things are going to pull us away at some point. Um, and then finally, the days that we're going to take off, which we're really not going to take off because you really want to try to figure out how to fit in some short sprints to ensure that you have no zero days. It definitely will help with your success and ensure that you get your word count done or whatever your goal is going to be, however you want to shape it by April 30th. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Passover is April 5th and 6th for Cedars. Okay, um, so yeah, and that's your, take that into because it, it depending on because also you might have the complication of having to visit you know two sets of family or four sets of family depending on how the dynamic of your family breaks down um so you might be looking at maybe losing the saturday and possibly the friday too so um you're gonna have to take that into account and cherish what you can do with your writing time and that means your word count's going to be higher. Your goal's going to have to be higher on those days that you can do full and halves. But we're going to make this work. Mary, my student that I tutor outside of my day job, is currently having to deal with the crisis at his job. So he will need to reschedule his appointments. But we have yet to get in touch with each other to do so. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, and that was sort of something you were supposed to be, you already had set in stone, right? Uh, Rita, I have four library days, which will be half days, doctor appointment, but with a four hours travel time, I can still read and write notes in the truck. Yes, definitely. Uh, but yes, love you skeleton self-care days. Love that for sure, definitely. Okay, guys, so uh, full days again. You're able to do anything and everything. Uh, you have no limitations on your time. Half days, are you going to work in the, are you losing your morning or your evening? Um, and, others, and your off days, how are you going to ensure still writing gets happens for that? So when you're working in your calendar, you can simply put on um, a line to signify that you're losing the latter half of the day and the upper half is going to be for your focus for writing okay um, I should have done that with a ruler made it a little nicer but you know what this is my messy one so it's okay <laughs> I will get the ruler out for the next one okay let's do our next panel um, so what are you gonna work on what project are you working on um, get that written at the top of your calendar 
project tail okay uh, which draft or version are you working on um, what's are you editing or drafting so what stage are you at just write this down as I go and finally, how are you going to measure your progress? Words, chapters, scenes, pages, or beats? Which one resonates with you best? Um, which one is going to be um, the most motivational for you? Um, also, this is also going to, um, trying to think of the wording here. Um, when you actually put your project into the NaNoWriMo site, you're gonna to have to decide how you're gonna display that. If you have 30 chapters, then you might wanna simply put 30, and every time you finish a chapter, well then that you just do the one. Just do a single one for a chapter. And um, that way it doesn't matter how long the chapter is, and you're not trying to work to some word count that may or may not serve you. Okay guys. The next one to consider is your tools and locations. Um, are you working at your desktop computer, your laptop, your, on your iPad or phone? Guys, this little device is amazing. You can write on this. It, even if you use something like Scrivener or Word, you can still write in Google Docs and then turn around and if you're out for some reason um, and you can sneak in that little bit of writing, you can just cut and paste it out from Google Docs afterwards and you will have extra writing time that you thought you wouldn't have. So harness the power of your phone, guys. Um, the other one I would recommend is um, having a notebook with you. Always have your writer's notebook handy. Um, as well, your, the, your favorite pens that you're going to use. Make sure you have refills for these guys. If you feel like you're getting low, put an order in right now. That way, when um, when you turn around half halfway through the month and you realize that you're, you won't be out of refills, you're going to be good to go. Um, also, have alternate locations available for writing. Um, generally speaking, if you plan to sit at your desk most of the time, but maybe for some reason there's going to be outside construction noise or something going on. Um, maybe the kids are having friends over or something, and for some reason you can't use your desk. But you don't want to stop writing. You don't want to just stop having your opportunity to write. So have a couple alternate locations, um, either inside or outside the home, that you can move to to ensure that you're getting writing done. Um, it could also be it could be seen as a reward. Maybe it's your once a week you go to the coffee shop, or you, um, or just to change of scenery. Weather's improving. Maybe you want to go sit outside, right on the patio or at the park, right? Um, it's just basically a way to ensure that you have a few places in mind and if for some reason th the plan starts to get derailed, you have plan A, B, C, and D, right? Um, let's see what else here. This is stuff I wrote last night, so <laughs> I'm doing my own chicken scratch, guys. Uh, let's see. Um, Angela, Emma, Benna. Benna is planning to use only her phone for camp and just see how she does. I used it for one year for quite a bit and it was actually pretty awesome actually <laughs> and nowadays you can easily pair a uh, Bluetooth keyboard with your phone um, so even the, if you have the means that's something you might want to consider and then you literally have yourself a portable device um, with a full keyboard instead of doing the thumb typing. Uh, let's see, Carla, thank you for the reminder. My fountain pen cartridge needs to be replaced. Let me do that now, please. Uh, Dawn, there was someone who did that in November at one of the write-ins I went to. I can't imagine typing things out of my phone. Depends on how comfortable you are with it. And keep in mind, guys, on your phone, you can switch out the cut type of keyboard that you're using. And there is a lot of, um, difference between them. Every once in a while I accidentally click on one that I absolutely hate and I know within seconds that I've made the mistake because I cannot type on this thing to save my life. It's still my phone but for some reason it is, it doesn't work for me. 
Um, let's see, Rita, change of scenery is a good idea. I could go early to the library for the afternoon program and even have lunch. Oh, exactly. Um, okay, guys. Um, what else did I have? Post-its. Post-its, guys. These are your friends. Have, have a stack of them. Always have them near you. Idea pops in your head for later in the story. Scribble it down. Or you can use your writer's notebook for that. Either one. But have a place to get it out of your head and get it down. Because you will not remember. You will not. Um, and finally, um, avoid doing research during camp. Um, just put a star on the page and do it later. Keep the story moving. It's more important. Two other notes that I wanted to give you was to um, create a character list so that you, um, you can easily and quickly look up and see exactly how you spelt your character's names. It's amazing how in the heat of writing you forget these things. Um, simple as writing it on an index card and keeping it tucked into your writer's notebook. And then you can have that out in front of you or wherever, whichever system you're working on. Hey Jenna! Um, and then also write out your premise and keep it close. Same reason, um, uh, as you start to go off on a tangent and if you lose focus, you can simply reread your premise and be right back on to, on to task, keeping the story in mind and the direction you wanted to take. Okay, guys, let's see, let's see, Jenna being lost in edits for a client, but been listening in Alert and wanted to send love. Oh, thank you, honey. <laughs> um, okay, and the next one we're gonna work on is resources. Are you going to work with an outline? Do you have an outline? Do you have a complete outline or a partial outline? Um, it's more than okay to have a partial. Um, I do recommend having the um, main plot points covered so you know the direction your story is taking. So you want to have the catalyst, the break into two. These are save the cat guys. Um, the, what's the next one? My brain, sorry. Midpoint, that's an easy one. I don't believe I forgot that. <laughs> All is lost and the break into three. And that way you can literally structure your story across those. And, that, and you have the premise and you're good to go. You'll also want to have your beat sheets. If you're using them for reference as you're writing is so that you can use them as inspiration um your notes as always have them handy um you guys know my little writer's notebook here that i use for our micro sprints um have your planner ready um near you so you can mark down dates and stuff that things are changing that way you don't get a surprise write down anything that's coming at you so you can modify your plan hey katrina um timer what are you going to use for a timer guys um, if you're not able to attend a live, are you going to set your own kitchen timer, a timer on your phone? What are you going to use? Um, and your live schedule. So we're going to do that one next. Um, and just quickly on our calendar, write down the times for the lives that we want to attend. I'm sure there's going to be more. It is April, so I haven't seen the main list yet, but I'm sure there's going to be extras popping up. But let's get our main ones down because that's going to serve us and ensure that we're getting our writing done. So let's do our two minute timer and let's populate our calendar with the lives that we want to attend. No problem, Carla uh, or Katrina. Uh, Carla, I use these in my writer's notebook. Uh, I can find these thoughts that hit me at odd times. Yes, exactly. Okay, guys, two minute timer and we're going to put down the lives that we want to attend throughout the week. Um, and generally speaking, we have a very good repeating schedule for, um, the heart breathings group, but, um, you know, if you're going to go on to any that, you know, are coming for say Kate Kavanaugh or for the, they don't call it write a thon anymore. Um, I can't remember the name that, uh, that they use now. They have a new name for it. <laughs> Um, but I know that they'll often as a group, uh, Sam and Jess will start making, um, have extra sprints going as well for their community. Uh, let's see, Rita, interesting how, when I'm not in the live sprint, I don't use timer. Oh, interesting. Angela, remember if you can't attend a live, you can always go back to replays of previous lives. HK Darkwood also has times on YouTube. Yes. Yes. Awesome suggestion. Okay, guys, two minute timer and you're not going to get them all down, but try to get down one a day. 
um, if you can. And that way you're in storytellers for thank you. Um, you can, um, that way you're guaranteed at least one little bit of community each day, which will definitely help to keep you motivated. Okay guys, two minute timer and let's add that to our calendar. Um, keep in mind guys that you can always add to those uh, lives as well as you find out about new ones if you think they'll fit in your schedule to write them down so you have that reference uh, with a note of who it is. I simply put down the ones for the heart breathing group so I'm not going to actually because they're the regular ones I attend um, but definitely if I, anything comes along that I know I'm going to have to seek out on YouTube I'm going to put a note of who it is. Um, let's see. Um, uh, da, da, da. Thank you guys. Uh, Rachel, I do have a partial outline because I tend to outline a few chapters, right? Then outline the next chapters. I also got toggle backtrack to help with sprints. Google Docs to store my manuscript. Nice. Jenna, going to spend tonight's sprint finishing up my outline. I can't decide how to open the book. It's probably going to change anyway, so don't worry about it too, too much. Just get something down that works for you and serves the story for now. Um, okay guys, um, the biggest questions. How does this challenge affect your regular schedule? How much more writing time are you going to be putting in? What do you see happening? What shift is going to need to happen in your mindset to make this happen? Um, are you going to need to, um, are you going to have to give up on some things that you normally would do to make room for this? Um, this all, of course, depends on how large your goal is going to be. Um, and hold on, I'm just going to add a note here to myself. Okay. Right now we're basically getting all the framework done so we know what our calendar looks like. We're going to dive into the breaking down of what we're going to try to achieve shortly. Um, and the second the other big question is how are you going to protect yourself from burnout? You don't want to work so hard during April that you can't write in May. And then you have to take a month off because that's not going to be very um, productive, is it? All right. Okay. Am I at that point? 
think I am at that point. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I think I lost a note somewhere in there. I thought I had one. <laughs> uh, hold on two seconds, guys. I'm going to go back and see where I put my note. I do not see it here. Maybe. Okay. So, fine. Let's start breaking down our goal. Um, if you are going to do the traditional uh, 50k, which face it is, it is camp now, so you can adjust this thing to whatever you want. Um, in November, I did 100k, and it was amazing. But because of the way Nano is set up, Nano in November is set up, I could not adjust that number. Now I could write 100k if I wanted to and actually build it right into their system, into their plan. Um, so what do you want to achieve? Be honest with yourself. Where do you want this book to end up by the end of Camp Nano? Um, do you want close to a finished first draft? Then you're looking at needing about, you know, 80,000 words for a nice comfortable first draft, maybe 70. Um, if you are okay with just doing a piece of it and you just want to get um, Act 1 written, maybe your goal is going to be 20k. It depends on how much time you have. You have your calendar in front of you. You know your restrictions. You know how long you have. So the first thing we're going to start with is the calculation of 30 days. How many days did you have to um, remove entirely that you saw had to be off? I'm going... I am... I'm trying um, to not do any. I may have to do some half days, but I'm trying not to take any full days off. And I'm just taking a little look here if there's anything that's going to force my hand to make me do so. I should be okay. So, uh, for me, full um, z days off are going to be zero. Now, half days are going to be. This is being here. Um, I'm going to have to deal with um, four half days, which means I'm not going to be able to get the. Um, all of them are generally affecting evening, but I do sometimes write in the night, so it's not going to. It's not ideal for me. So I've got four half days. Um, so and my full days are what remains. So 26. You guys are breaking that down. So what you want to do is go through, um, you're starting, everyone is starting with 30 days for the challenge. How many days are you taking off completely? How many half days are you going to have to contend with? And how many full days do you have where you have less limitations? Um, let's see. Where did we go here? Um, Outlining during Jenna's sprint tonight with Carla. Uh, Katrina, Jenna, listening to how to write a novel using the Snowflake Method can help with that first scene. If you want to listen to it, it's good. Awesome. Yes, I've used it. I love it. Uh, Mary, I'm going to need to be vigilant with my YouTube time, making sure it's 99.9% used for sprints instead of casual watching. Perfect. Carla, snowflaking a novel can be really useful. Oh, definitely. Katrina, same Mary. However, I don't think I can control that. Need the music in addition to the sprinting streams. Interesting, interesting. Uh, Katrina, Carla, you really can, yes. Angela, Bob is home most of April. I have the first five days to build a word count, but technically in the mathematical sense, I need 2,222 words per day. That's doable. That's very doable. Um, generally, most writers, um, famous authors, do 1,500, 2,000 a day. So you're definitely in a good place. Carla, I know there are a couple of days where writing will be, oh, no, oh good. I got some words in, but I'm clear most of the month. Perfect, Mary. I use music that is saved to my computer so I don't have to deal with ads. Sweet. Smart suggestion. Okay, guys, so let's put our two minute timer on and we're just going to give you a second here to, um, I might stop at the one minute just so you can get that math done. So days off, half days and full days.
and do some math here. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, Jedi, your word count per minute also matters as far as how much gets done. So true, so true, very true. Slow, um, and also typing speed also will also affect, right? Um, and if you're deciding to, many people decide to handwrite and then retype. So what does that do to your timing as well, right? Uh, Jenna, and thank you for walking us through the math. You are welcome. Uh, Mary, I doubt that I will have any full days because of my students. So I'm basically going to be good with half days all month. My main goal is to simply spend at least, at least a few minutes a day on my writing. Nice. All right. So this is going to, this is a bit harder to do. I decided that on my half days, because I'm generally aiming for 2K a day, my half days are going to simply be a goal of a thousand. So that left me with, um, and I only have four of those I have to deal with. So the rest of the time, I'm going to deal with my 46K by doing 1,770 words um, each day. This way, um, on those shorter days, I am not going to have to um, stress too too much right um, on now on to those off those off days as I said no zero days guys so this is where you're going to harness the power of stolen moments there are always little off moments in the day where you're waiting for someone or you're waiting for something and you have five to ten minutes you're gonna harness those guys and this is gonna ensure your success so um, we're looking at the shorter um, five to 10 minutes, we'll say. This is one of those wonderful places where your phone is gonna be your friend. Um, so during your morning coffee, you could get 100 words written, five minute sprint, right? Um, during your lunch break at work, um, any additional work breaks that you might have, um, often, you know, you get a 15 minute break to just go sit back and have a coffee or whatever, kick back, grab your writer's notebook, grab your phone, five minute sprint guys, right? Uh, well, dinner is cooking, um, before bed, get a hundred words in. There you go. You're, you're continuously building this little buffer of extra words, right? Uh, waiting at an appointment. Definitely. My husband has a ultrasound later, so I'm going to grab my writer's notebook because we're going to go and explore um, Vancouver a little bit today and have some fun while we're doing that. And so I'm going to grab my writer's notebook while he's doing his ultrasound. I get to uh, have some extra writing time. Um, sitting in, this is for the parents out there. If you're sitting in your car during uh, pickup for your, uh, for your kids from school or some other uh, um, activity, Get that notebook out, get your phone out, five minute writing sprint, right? Harness the power of the writer's notebook and use your phone. This is going to make sure you win, guys. Uh, let's see, um, where did I leave off? Dawn, my goal is 30K this month, even with seven days where I don't think I'll get words, I can still get them in very quickly as the main story is drafted by hand already, sweet. Hey, how's it doing, uh, Penumbra? Uh, hopping over, I should say Maggie. Um, hopping over from Jewel Stream. Well, welcome. Uh, Diane, yes, if I have not said thank you for doing this, thank you. You're so welcome. Uh, Katrina, my goal is 20K for April. Nice goal. Uh, uh, Maggie, 1K per day for my Camp NaNoWriMo uh, Finmo. I have things to finish love that jenna i'm going to try 500 uh, am writing for me again this camp nano uh, it'll be getting warmer earlier in the day here so that might mean coffee and morning words on the patio love that beautiful strategy rita um if i count the words that i revised for 50k so that i will be eight, about 1925 uh, per day uh days i should say and at present, I have 35 chapters, so some days I need to get two chapters revised. Perfect. And those will be your full days, right? Um, Santa sounds good. Jenna, definitely. Heather, hello. How's it going, hon? Um, hello from Angela as well to Heather. Uh, let's see. Jesus, is the second time a fire alarm has gone off in our apartment complex. Oh, that's not good. Hoping all is well and happy anniversary, hon. I hope you and your hubby had a good evening. All right. 
here. Is there any questions about the math, how you're going to work this out? Let me know um, and I can try to take you through it. Um, I have my sad little Now the thousand uh, words for the half days, I know it's, I've put down the 800, but I know that a thousand is not that much of a stretch for me. So I decided I'd just put the thousand, but definitely you do what works for you. Okay guys. Um, the only thing I did not put on this here is my um, days off because I am it's April and I'm trying not to do that. That's probably not a wise choice. I probably should taking, I'm taking my half days as those days um, because I don't want to do zero days. <laughs> I know what happens when I do. Uh, it's too easy for one day to turn into two or three. Uh, let's see. Carla, I'm looking to push for 2K a day with a couple of days off here and there. Uh, Rachel goal 35k for count but I technically have 37k outstanding which means I need to write 2k words today and you will you will definitely uh, let's see Maggie um, oh no to Heather yes uh, okay guys let's see what else I have here yes, those two will be the last two okay the other one I will suggest that you guys do um, is harness my two minute micro sprint plan, regardless of where you're at. Um, just do it as the, um, if you're on another live and they're doing the five minute break, still do your two minutes. Um, maybe don't set a timer, just kind of give yourself a, get move through the steps, right? This will help you to maintain your focus and move the story forward. So what you need to reveal about character plot or setting, what you're trying to get your protagonist to do on the page, the obstacles and opportunities you're going to toss at them uh, for in that scene or chapter. This is just going to keep you super focused, guys. Um, the action steps um, you want to take to move through that, that act, that scene, that story beat, um, whatever it is your measurement that you're using. Um, the resources you're going to need, as always, gather everything around you so you're good to go, including your favorite scented candle, guys. It does keep you, help to keep you focused. Um, the outcome you're looking for and any questions you have about the story as the author. Harness that and it will help you to succeed. Uh, let's see. Rita, I love the, uh... The, uh, the zero days I did that no zero days for the first um, camp nano or first nano um, even if it was only a hundred words that day yes and it makes a huge difference because it keeps you connected to your story uh, let's see Angela if you're a sticker planner person put some inspirational stickers on your planner reminding you to keep going you can do this you got this more coffee etc so true love that good suggestion um, the other one I'm going to give you guys is create a scene list. This is not going to be your standard scene list, guys. This is going to be, um, the reality is at some point you're going to get stuck and you don't want to give up. Don't give up. What you want to have already created is a scene list of, of potential scenes that may or may not be um, specific um, to your plot outline but maybe more about exploring characters, relationships, and um, backstory. Um, these can be things that will keep you going when the writing gets hard within the outline that you're working through. Um, they can simply be turned into flashbacks sometimes if they serve the story, or they might unearth some details that um, serve the bigger picture of the story. So um, first, last, um, relationship reveals um maybe you know there's a character that's sort of been on the edge of the outskirts of your story then maybe you know just write a scene where they actually meet maybe they do maybe they don't in the story but write that scene and see what happens find out why that character is there um regrets um disappointments and struggles this is the idea of just getting the deeper, this will create deeper subtext for your story um, that you may or may not end up using, 
but overall it will keep your word count going it will keep you motivated and will hopefully give you additional details you may not have thought of um, this is especially also and if you're writing any of those author qu writing questions you're asking yourself during the two minute micro sprint plan those can also be explored in scene um, to see where they go and if they can serve the story um, everything is usable on some level right uh, let's see uh, let's see Heather there was even a fire truck at that building earlier today I don't know what's going Ooh. wishing you good happy thoughts and hopefully um, the um, chaos goes away and it's something minor uh, let's see Angela pranksters Heather getting a history on April Fool's so true um, my speaking of April Fool's my fur baby turns seven tomorrow <laughs> Uh, let's see. Um, so there may be a birthday shout out to the fur baby. Just because why not? <laughs> uh, don't know. Maybe a glitch in the system. Okay, guys. Uh, so use your writer's notebook to journal about your story. Explore the story on the page. Ask questions and think ahead. Um, if character A does this now, what will the consequences be later in the story? And you can use that to explore and expand on um, ideas. This may not end up being part of your word count, but it is certainly going to keep your story moving forward. Okay. Let's see. Um, thanks. I'm also hoping the chaos goes away. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, now this is a more practical approach one. Um, meal planning, batch cooking, and snacks. Are there any large meals that you can freeze that are, I should say that freeze well? Um, that you can divide up and that way it's quick and easy meals to ensure that you're eating well stir fries are awesome for this guys um, casseroles as well um, things where you can make a large batch um, you know maybe make a larger spaghetti sauce than normal or a bigger chili uh, batch or something things a soup any of those kind of things that you can freeze that'll be super easy for you uh, the soup freeze them in portions using the, the solo cups um, and then you can just pop them out and they're, they're into a freezer bag and you, you're hungry. There's a nice hearty soup for you with a piece of toast. You're eating well and you're staying healthy and you're staying and you have a quick meal that will serve your body. Um, shopping limit running to the store guys. Um, can you make do with something else? Can you do your shopping as one large shopping uh, for the uh, trip for the week or for two weeks? Try to take all those little annoyances of life and kind of keep them uh, away for the month of April so that you're not losing writing time to standing in line at the grocery store. Uh, stock up on snacks and beverages. Hey, Elizabeth. Um, um, this so hopefully something a little bit um, healthier if you can. Um, one of my favorites to do is to have a fruit and veg tray. That way um, I can just simply grab a handful of prepped, prepared veggies. You can also prepare it yourself um, and I can stack on those and I'm giving my body uh, fuel that will actually keep me sustained. Um, and I try to keep the, the chocolate and candy as more of a reward. Um, there have been times in the past where I stacked on chips and candy and you cannot get to April 30th doing this. You're going to feel awful if you do. <laughs> Don't do it. Uh, so try to think of some healthier snacks that you might enjoy. Pretzels, um, Trying to think some of the other ones. Um, fruit snacks, um, they're still sugary, but you know, they, they might be that compromising treat that's sort of in between. Um, some suggestions there. Let's see. Carla, also never forget how awesome tools like crock pots, instant pots, and air fryers can be. So true. Yes. If you like salmon, uh, for example, you can buy the frozen little um, pre cut salmon pieces from the freezer section those guys cook up in your um, air fryer in about 10-15 minutes from frozen you don't have to do any additional prep uh, you pair that with a something like a 
one of those express um, bistro rice packs. Those are done in like two minutes. You microwave some veggies. You have your dinner in 20 minutes or less, and you have a full meal that's going to sustain you well. Uh, Elizabeth, I'm going to treat Camp Nano like Danorimo, so 50k words in April for my novel rewrite. Nice. Dan, grocery delivery and our curb pickups are heaven. Yes, another great suggestion, guys. Uh, Elizabeth, I like cooking meals that will last multiple meals. Yes, fruits, nuts, raisins, perfect suggestions. Uh, Carla to Elizabeth, a lot of skinny taste stuff will last a couple days. Mmm, good idea. Okay, guys, we're coming down to our final bits. Um, do you have any questions about the math and setting out your word count? Um, you can simply do this um, one of two ways. You can do the larger goal of just breaking your um, the number of days you're going to write, regardless of they're half or full, against your word count that you want to write, and then sort of... Um, fiddle with the math at that point and on those half days do it the smaller number and then kind of push the uh the full days up a bit and just kind of move it around until you get a number that feels good to you this is always about what feels good to you guys make it so that the system is going to work in your favor um if number something feels scary um to the point that it's going to overwhelm you reduce the goal you might surprise yourself and fly right past it but if you get yourself in an overwhelmed state and never begin that is not going to serve your goals so take a look at that goal and decide is that 50k really reasonable if it isn't make it 40 make it 25 make it whatever feels good to you you can always do more you can always pass it right but keep those numbers reasonable and something that you can manage, okay? So I would recommend creating a conquer the day sheet. Um, these are gonna use our good, better, best goals. So you want your daily goal, whether that's going to be the uh, example for Rita, where she's going to do one or two chapters, depending on um, the day, whether it's a full or a half, um, or the word counts you're gonna put down. For me, um, day one, I want that to be a buffer day. So instead of worrying about using that 1770, I'm going to double it. I want to get around 3500 tomorrow. So day one, I'm going to actually I'll just bring this up for you. Oh, you're going to see that. So just a simple sheet. You can use this on. I'm just going to use index cards because it's easy. And again, it's something that I can have out in front of me, just like the premise and the character list. Um, so for day one, I'm going to write April 1 here. April 1st, this is my buffer day. I'm going to say 3,500. I would love a 5K day as that built that um, buffer to really ensure that that first day is going to be amazing. Um, but for now, I'm going to go with a 3.5K day. Um, the story milestones that I want to get is the, um, I want to move through the first 10% of the story. So I want the opening image. I want the setup. These are save the cat guys. And I need the theme stated. And that should take me because that is between the one in 10%, those three. So somewhere in there, I hope I get at least most of the setup done. For sure, the opening image and um, the theme stated. Now I had additional notes here. Hold on two, two seconds here. And I'm gonna go back to my notes that I wrote. Where did I write you? Oh, here we go. That's that. Oh my god, sorry about this. Um, right, what do you guys have to say here? Let's see. Um, 
Let's see. Angela, me too, Elizabeth. I plan meals in March that leave me leftovers in the freezer for April. Sweet. I love that. Uh, Lysanda, I'm going to challenge myself to eat mostly healthy snacks during camp. Yeah, like I said, mostly healthy snacks. And then you could have the, tr uh, the treats, the candy, the chocolate. Those can be your rewards at the end when you've gotten your writing done. Um, let's see. Angela, thinks simple meals like grilled cheese and tomato soup, fish tuna fish and crackers oh yeah beautiful suggestions elizabeth my goal is 2k words a day beautiful angela i'm just ahead of you elizabeth i need 2222 nice mary same here lately i've been depending too much on fast food which is bad because i had previously broken that habit Ooh, need a reset yes um angela if you want fast food mary think about grabbing a salad in the drive through that way you're not going in and being tempted by the smell of fries and burgers oh very good suggestion <laughs> uh even if you had no intentions of eating that that may it's just that temptation right mary that's a good idea angela thank you uh let's see lasanda my goal is 15k i'm working i'm uh, sorry i'm writing act three of my novella and a 5k short for mythology nice love that Angela, for those of you who do the grocery pickup, order pre-made salad bowls or a bottle of your favorite dressing. Nice. And a bottle of your favorite dressing. Uh, let's see. Doable goal, Lysanda. Definitely. Carlotta Mary, I took the trash bag out of my car. If I have to carry the fast food bags into the house to throw them out, I feel badly. <laughs> Love it. Uh, Lysanda, yes, Angela. Jenna, I hope to get back to doing keto a few days a month. Perfect. Lots of selling. Carla, also, I do a uh, Duncan tax when I go through the drive through and pay for the car behind me and leave a tip for the worker. Nice. Can't afford to do that too often. Amazing gesture, though. Wonderful. Thank you. Uh, Rita, I tend to drink smoothies during Nano, so I'm getting supplies for April, too. Again, nice, quick, easy. Get the frozen fruit, get the yogurt, have it all stocked, ready to go, right? I know I had another note for you guys. That's what I was trying to find here. Let's see. I know I kind of had original ideas here that I was writing this down. This is what happens when you write on pages you're not supposed to. <laughs> um... Or did I really just think it all through here? It's potential too. Um, uh, I don't know what I did with it. That's bad. I might have dropped it in a index card. <laughs> but that's okay. We're, we are moving ahead and we are doing we are getting the details down that we need, right? So um, the story beats I'm gonna work on, the um, how many Pomodoros are you going to need, knowing your average word count, um, to achieve, um, for example, 2K? Um, is that going to be four Pomodoros? Six, How? what is your writing speed versus that output? So you can give yourself an idea of how many Pomodoros you're going to sit down to. This is, of course, using the average of the 20 and 25s. Um, if you're doing the 45s with me on Saturday or Sunday, of course we adjust, right? Um, so I'm going to say, um, I'm going to need for that. I'm going to need about six Pomodoros to get my 3.5 K. Um, and then I leave room for actual to see how much I actually need for that day. Um, you can also do good, better, best. I'm going to redo. I'm going to go back through my daily goal here and I'm going to make it a 3 K. Uh, better would be 4k and my best would be making it a 5k day tomorrow and that way I am structuring and giving myself the I really can't so make it whatever you want it to make it so that you can easily find um, your motivation back on this card right uh, let's see let's see Maggie, I make a lot of fast food at home and ahead, and I also will buy a party platter and divide it up so I can avoid the things that trigger my migraines. Yes, yes, guys, definitely. This is when those health days are going to come in. Um, 
I feel like I should probably go back through my plan and take off and actually reshape it with some off days because they may not be off but if I end up with a migraine or feeling ill I'm going to need that downtime and I need to have that built right into my plan so I'm going to probably go back through and um, adjust um, so that I am if I am having an off day I don't have to stress myself out trying to get in four pomodoros if I don't have the energy to do so um or the uh the headspace to do it because i'm suffering from migraine and the idea of sitting at a computer screen is just painful all right um let's see angel good plan rita uh party platter excellent idea especially for virtual retreat and double down day yes angela i need between seven to nine i usually start out with lower word counts per sprint but we'll build as i get into the story very true yes and you're going to find yourself going faster as it starts to really speak to you right rachel i usually do 45 minute pomodoros and have an average of 700 words at 45 minutes good is 1.7k better is 2.1k and best is 2.8k nice uh buffer days for the win yes jenna yes uh uh a vanessa question one after knowing doubt what i can't remove from my calendar i have 28 full rain days which is what i also have in november um i'm working on three projects this month okay um okay what is your goal are you doing 50k are you doing a different number and how much are you breaking that down to the each project or does it not matter uh angela great numbers rachel thanks angela let's see lasanda 1k a day four to five sprints perfect maggie i am looking at about three hours per day broken down into three 45 minute sprints five 15 minute break a five to 15 minute break depending on flow combinations love that Angela, I'll be visiting my sister-in-law. I already warned her I'll need some writing time every day or I'm only staying two days. <laughs> and see, this is another excellent suggestion here from Angela. Um, if the other people in your life, um, let them know what you're doing. Let them know that you're going to need that time to disappear for a couple hours um, each day uh, so that they can maybe they can support you as much as they can or at the very least stay out of your way while you're doing it right um that do not disturb sign get that out there guys rita i'm dog saying again for sunday and monday so no dishes cleaning or dealing with one <laughs> i love it <laughs> and you have yourself a mini retreat hun so you can have double down day on saturday sunday and monday you can create your own virtual retreat and get a huge buffer in uh, over those three days okay guys what do we have left now the last one this is an important one guys this is going to keep you motivated this is going to keep you moving forward mark your gold star moments guys um track your progress on a calendar um you can simply use the same one that you ha that you have here and you can write your uh your your word count or chapter count or whatever for each day um, as you get closer to that big goal of the 50k or 30 chapters or whatever it may be that you're doing um, track your progress um, it, it will keep you motivated and build in if, if you end up doing a day where it's exceptional and you know you um, you're, we'll say your goal was 1500 words but you write 3k literally get yourself out a sticker and throw that down there um if you get 15,000 or 1501 put a sticker down that means you were doing more you were doing extra you were there for yourself for your writing project reward yourself um for uh for NaNoWriMo, I purchased uh, washi tape and um, something I'd never done before. I pre-ordered the winner's t-shirt. Um, I have not looked at the shop this time, um, but I'm going to 
I think I'm going to do the same as I did last time and I'm going to look and see if there's something that I can pre-order now um, and that will be my motivation for my reward for myself knowing that I get my t-shirt or my mug or whatever it may be. Um, overall you want to take care of yourself so give yourself a gold star for the days when you when you chose not to write because you had a headache and you went and you had a nap instead and were able to still get writing done later because you had a nap and you didn't let it turn into a migraine. Give yourself a gold star moment for that. Um, refill the well. Give yourself that self-care time, guys. As always, 50%. Write it down on your calendar. Make sure you're taking, even if it's a 15-minute reading break, just for something fun and relaxing and get off the screen for 15 minutes and into a good book. Um, for, and most important, enjoy yourself and have fun. This is a creative challenge. It is meant to push us a little bit, but if it pushes us outside of the zone of fun and into something that we're dreading, that's not the spirit of Nano at all, guys. It's a fun writing challenge to see what we can achieve as creators and um, that will push us to... To achieve more but we still have to take care of ourselves guys okay uh, let's see um, Bob's on board he wants to retire a lot <laughs> uh, let's see uh, Vanessa what works best for me is setting a daily goal of one word a day if I can just get one word down I, of I often find that if I can get myself to get that one word uh, more will fall off. So true. Yes, that is um, that is where just getting started matters so much. Make you put yourself a a two or three or a five minute timer. Go small, guys, and start writing. And if that timer goes off and you dread it and you know it's just a day, the headache is too much. You're not going to get past it. You stop writing. But more often than not, you're going to want to keep writing. So turn the timer off and keep going. Okay, keep your go. Keep get yourself. Always start. Always start. Always get those micro sprints in and see if you can get some words down because they will make a difference. Uh, let's see, um, Angela, excellent plan. A eh? sometimes our biggest obstacle is just getting started. So so true, Angela. That one word looks lonely on the page. I know it needs company, right, guys? Uh, I want a count T-shirt. Oh, I haven't looked at it yet. Is it good? <laughs> I so far love the um, the participation bat uh, banner. Um, looking forward to using that this this time around. Rita, I'm also tracking my progress with uh, transfer one of my tumbled rocks to the other jar. Oh, perfect. I will empty the jar of 36 chapters equals 36 rocks, as well as the beads for every 100 words. Oh, love the visual aspect of that. Gorgeous. Uh, Carla, I think my big reward will be the Nano Writing Journal. Oh, that thing is so pretty. Um, tempting. <laughs> Uh, Angela, great idea, Rita. Uh, visual rewards are so encouraging. Yes. Uh, Angela, I got the idea from Sarah. She uses the glass colored beads. Yes, she does. Uh, Rachel, my big reward would be a movie night with my friends since we don't hang out a lot. I love that. For visual rewards, I printed out the pixel tracker, tracker from Sarah's camp workbook. Oh, that is a good one too. Love that. Uh, Diane, I am going to make a reward list for every day I write. Ooh, nice. Ah, okay guys, um, do you have any questions for me on anything that we went over? It could be the math, it could be on a strategy, it could be something you're still confused about. Um, it could be the conquer the day sheet, it could be um, the premise, the uh, character list, um, whatever it is you wanna know about, let me know and um, in the comments and I will try my best to answer them for you. Um, but as that happens, can I get a woohoo from everyone that is excited for Camp Nano, Nano that starts tomorrow? I can't wait. I am so ready to write. I have nearly filled this notebook uh, with book one notes and series notes, and I'm so ready to get that story going on the page and get those scenes explored and see where these characters take it and how they change the story on me as I go. <laughs> 
Uh, so give me your woohoos and your celebration. And I want to thank you guys for joining me today. Um, this was a sort of a, a, a spontaneous um, uh, workshop that was suggested by our friend Jess um, and, uh, and others. And I think that, um, and I'm really hoping that it will help you to succeed and cross the finish line on April 30th with your goal completed, if not surpassed, with a calm demeanor and nothing but joy and happiness in your heart. Yes, woohoo! Yes, whoop whoop! Love it! <laughs> Uh, sounds like you're on track. Yes, Vanessa. Yes, definitely. Uh, a e q e uh, question two: Prepping and rewards. I will be the. It will be the first time that I'm trying doing meal prep. Rewards is done by day, by weekly, and by end of project, based on the beautiful, brilliant, badass. Ooh, I love that. Excellent. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, let's see, Rachel, although if I finish my project, I'm about to realize everyone, um, hates it. <laughs> why everyone hates editing so much. You might surprise yourself. There are people out there who absolutely, absolutely adore rewriting. Um, and they see it as an opportunity to make the story better. They see it as an opportunity to take everything that they've um, mined and unearthed and um, explored and take all that content and give it form so you can create it into something that others will enjoy because you've enjoyed writing it no matter how messy it is now you can shape it so others can share it too uh you are so welcome angela uh you too mary have a love rachel <laughs> ah, you are welcome diane and sh and a thank you to the fellow our fellow hardies rita thank you so much tracy and others too yes this has been awesome i love the confetti thank you diane and tomorrow's double down day yes rita i love editing and revising my projects yes definitely change your mindset and it will change your mood when you're doing things uh, Angela, I love edits, but then I don't have issues with synopsis either. Ah, I see. Okay. Rachel, I do adore rewriting, but the fact that I'm overhauling so much of my story is overwhelming. Piece by piece, section by section, break it down. Do not do that just to yourself, hon. Act one, only work in act one or whichever, or break it down to chapters or scenes. Take it down to something that is easier for you to handle. Avoid that overwhelm. Uh, one step at a time, Rachel. Exactly, Angela. Carla, thank you again for the spontaneous planning session. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions, you can uh, message me um, or leave a comment in the uh, in the video here um, on YouTube, and I will, like I said, do my best to answer it. Um, and that way, we can all hit the ground running tomorrow and. Make amazing progress in April on our projects. Now, because you guys showed up here for your writing and you're all awesome, I'm going to give us some confetti and fireworks because you guys deserve it. <laughs> you guys are awesome and amazing. And thank you for showing up for yourselves and showing up and trying out this experiment with me. I hope that you have an amazing April and I'm going to be supporting you through that as well with our weekly writing squints. Ah, thank you guys. Thank you. Ah, okay, guys, go kick back and relax. Um, work through your calendar. Make it what it needs to be. Get that washi tape out and those stickers and make it pretty. Um, make a stack of papers that are going to serve you throughout April um, with your premise, your uh, character list, your conquer the day sheets um and that way you can ensure your success have it all together ready it's going to be part of your resources for april and um yeah i hope you guys have fun and i hope you win and um enjoy all your rewards throughout okay guys i'm gonna let you go for now i will see you tomorrow for double down day i will be on at 5 p.m eastern in my normal time slot 
Um, so I'm like fourth down the list or something. <laughs> so come and join me and we'll get so many words tomorrow and create an amazing buffer. Uh, let's see, Angela, creative blessings, everyone. Definitely love that. Um, Lysandra, I love editing. Sweet, Angela. If it, you haven't done so, please remember to smash the like on your way out. Thank you, hon. And if you guys have not subscribed, hit that subscribe button as well. And for all the most important thing, if you have not set up your uh, project in the NaNoWriMo website, go and do that first. Okay, guys, I'll see you tomorrow for writing sprints. Bye, guys. Thanks for hanging with me.